shit. Hello, dear students. Welcome to our English class. Today, we're going to start with week number seven. I hope you are ready. Let's start. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wait a moment. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this. No sé si está grabando. Yes. Okay. Let's start. Today we are talking about the past. But when we talk about the past, we have to talk about words and words. Let's see. Here, as you know, as each class we can learn from the example. We were there for band practice, Zach. And you weren't. Practice is for you, guys. You got it? You, plus, sorry, we were there for band practice, Zach. And you weren't. Practice is for you, guys. So here, we emphasize the use of where and here weren't all right this is affirmative and negative form of simple past was and were is the simple past of is am and are let's continue so in this case as you know we are we are always practicing with the personal pronouns we have a was was not okay let's put all of them there let's practice the pronunciation make out a summary i was you were do you remember how you used the verb to be is exactly the same but in past i was a teacher you were a nurse he was at a school yesterday she was at the university last week it was my tea it was my dog <laughs> we were friends but not anymore you were in the restaurant last month they were uh, cooking a ceviche but they were professors 20 years ago some examples like this okay here we can see the negative form was not were not was not were not were not were not we have wasn't weren't wasn't weren't weren't and weren't uh-huh that's okay very nice good Thank you. Let's continue. So, what is the final idea about this? In this case, we must be very, very, very careful on that thing. Okay? Especially when we are going to talk about the personal pronouns because you could see that there are some differences that we should know about this. Alright? For example, I, he, I'm sorry for my hard writing. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay. He, mm -hmm. she, and it. So, as you could realize, for this person and pronouns, we must use was. Do not forget. I was, he was, he, she was, and it was. And for the others, we, you, and they. Do not forget it, because this is really important to know. Okay? That's very good. Okay. Es el mismo uso que el verbo to be, lo que es en pasado. Yeah? Okay? For example, I was at the bank yesterday. I wasn't, I wasn't at the school last month. You were 
I see it. You were told, but not anymore because you are very old now. You weren't short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's exactly here the same. I, he, she, it was. You, 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 they were. Do not forget it. Most of the time we can see the difference that the singular nouns was and the plural one were. Okay, we can continue. I was at a school, they weren't in a bus. Do not forget it. Weren't. They weren't. Good. Thank you. Let's continue. We can understand more with sentences, right? Here it says, where were you last night? You see, last night I was at home. Where, don't they, no? In case I was at home. We have this. Yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. Okay? Ayer por la mañana and vice versa. Ayer por la tarde, ayer por la noche. Last Monday, last last week, last summer, last Christmas, last year. I forget. Um, a year ago, ten minutes ago, two days ago, a week ago, a month ago. At the specific dates. In 2013, in June, in the 90s, in the 20th century, for example, I was in Lima in 2015, right? I was in Callao uh, four months ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. The rules, English time expressions can go at the beginning of a sentence. They can go at the end of a sentence too. Las expresiones de inglés pueden ir al comienzo de una oración, pero también pueden ir al final de una oración. Okay. I was in London in the nineties. We were in Greece last summer. Good. You know this part? Post the video and when you finish, come back and play it. The girls weren't at a bus stop 10 minutes ago. I wasn't at the movie theater last night. Kelly and Dennis were at a rock center last week. It wasn't Judy's birthday on Saturday. They were in the choir. We weren't. You were late yesterday. Very nice. Do not forget to practice the pronunciation of these words. Alright, let's continue. Look at examples, write sentences with a simple past affirmative of negative form of B and past time expressions. For example, uh, James, uh, let's see number one. Was was at school yesterday morning. Good. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Anna and Rose weren't in the park two hours ago. Yes. Uh, New York, two thousand three. Uh, New York. Yeah, I was in New York in two thousand ten. Mario and Sarah weren't at home uh, last Saturday. Yeah, good. Uh -huh. Jelly uh, was in Paris a month ago. Mm -hmm. She was in San Francisco. Good. That's very nice. The, the, the beautiful thing here is you can add more information giving the correct answer, right? For example, uh, Maria and Sarah weren't home last night. 
because they were at a disco and they were dancing, having a great time together. You can add more information. Good. Thank you. No, sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's continue with interrogative form. That's going to be very fast. Here, as you know, we must use yes and no. Was the band practice? Yeah, it was. Was I? Yes. Remember? Yes, you were. No, you weren't. Were you? Yes, I was. No, I was. Do not forget about it. I've got a video. Pregunta con I. Con I. Con you. Con I. Con you. Con I. Siempre y cuando se use, se dé cuenta a través de una imagen. Es una pregunta bien personal o grupal. Pero frecuentemente cuando no dan nada, siempre se responde con I. Pero cuando se pone con una imagen, te pueden tal vez la imagen orientar si está preguntando si you un you singular o un you plural. ¿no? Okay, the same. Was he? Yes, he was. All right. Was Cristiano Ronaldo in Barcelona? No, he wasn't. Was uh, Lionel Messi uh, in Barcelona? Yes, he was. Uh -huh. Were we? Yes, you were. No, we weren't. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. En el caso de, de Wii pasa lo siguiente, ya, a ver, a ver, a ver, ¿dónde está? No quiero que se confunda. En el caso de Wii, eh, si deseas puedes poner you, como, o sea, tiene como que la misma función que el I, pero eso es un poco más especial. Tiene que especificar, si no te especifica, puedes usar el mismo Wii, ¿de acuerdo? Puedes usar el mismo Wii, no te estreses en ello, ¿ok? Thank you. Were you at school on Saturday? No, I was. No, I was. Exacto, la idea principal es que recuerdes que siempre después del pronombre personal vas a poner was o were. Si es negativo, pues was, wasn't, weren't. Ajá, y no te olvides, las preguntas siempre es que empiezan con was and were. Vamos a prácticas. Was Jack in Paris last month? Yes, he was. This part, pause, and you finish, come back and say the answers with me and practice the pronunciation. Was Mr. Roberts your teacher in elementary school? Yes, he was. Was Jennifer Lawrence born in 1999? Yes, she was. Were Paul and Joanne at a party? No, they weren't. Uh, were you at a basketball game on Saturday? Yes. We were. Se dio cuenta que especifica, ¿no? Que esa pregunta era por el tal. Was the concert good? Yes, it was. Was I the class picture? Yes, you were. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Were the girls there? Yes, they were. No sé bien siempre la respuesta corta. Hay que manejar esto acá. Siempre hay que poner por nombre. A pesar de que acá te diga de girls. ¿De acuerdo? Was Emma at the movies? No, she wasn't. Were you in LA last month? Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Los Angeles. Was the Hunger Games on TV last night? No, it wasn't. Was the teacher good on your vacation? Sorry, the teacher. Was the weather good at your vacation? Yes, it was. Uh huh. Thank you. Really nice. Good. That's good. That's good. Good job. Good job. Now well, we're finishing. Okay. Last part. Okay, let's use my, my favorite one, my pen. Where were you last night, Zach? I was at home. In this case, we are using 
the following question words when why where who how old okay that's very nice do not forget when it's about time why is the reason where place who talks about a specific person and how old it's about age buen tiempo why razón donde un lugar específico siempre hablamos de personas y de la who was your best friend in the past 10 years ago my best friend or jose was my best friend 10 years ago when were you born i was born in 1990 and you give an idea no why was he at home because he uh, finished work earlier or oh, he was busy okay that's okay so we we can practice more about it why was he at a school on saturday because he had a meeting who was she she was my sister okay let's practice we have how old when where where who, who, why Okay, go ahead. Number one is how old were you when you left the school? I was 16 years old, I think so, 15, I'm not sure. Next one, next one is where was Alice on Monday? Because I went because it's on Monday. Uh, Alice, uh, she was uh, at a school. Okay. Why were you sad yesterday? Because I lost my wallet. For the minute, When was Paul in London? If he was in London two weeks ago. He was in London two weeks ago. When, when when were you born? In my case, I was born in a beautiful age. Uh, for example, let's change uh, mama. I was born in 1992. Uh, okay. Here. Uh -huh. Who was your favorite teacher in elementary school? My favorite teacher in elementary school was Richard. De La Cruz. <laughs> he was a good teacher, very patient. Where were you this morning? Oh, this morning. This morning I was at home, as everybody. <laughs> everybody was at home and everybody is at home. Pretty fun. Alright, guys, let's continue. Where was he born? We are talking about Jimi Hendrix. Uh, he was from he was from United States. Uh, he was from America. That's good. When he when was he born? He was born on November twenty seventh in nineteen forty two. What nationality was Mozart? Mozart was Australian. Ah, sorry, Austrian. Oh, my my view. Sorry, mi visa no me ayudo. Austrian. Why was he famous? Uh huh. Because he was the best or one of the best classical music composer. No, he was a classical music composer. When was his birthday? His birthday was in January 27, 1756. Uh -huh. That's good. Thank you. That's very nice. Congratulations, guys. Very good. I think we must stop the video. I think it's enough. This is part one. Let's wait for part two.